Hi. You don't look lost, which is out of the ordinary. Looking for someone to pair with? Show you around? I have your attention, hmm? I'm Sylvie. I've got a special deal for you. You look tense. You're here, suit and all. You just got back from a business trip? Or are you here on a business trip? Hmm. Well, you must wear something other than a suit sometimes. Come on, don't be so stern. Give me a chance. You don't need to look around anymore. Sure, sure. I'll explain. This tea shop is pretty typical to what you'd see around here. You can pay girls to show you around the city, go on a date with you, all that stuff. But I've got a special contract for a special customer. I've been here for a while. Nobody wants to take me up on my offer. Think you can handle it? <laughs> you are my type of guy. Hmm. How do I put this? These claws aren't made for work. When I got out of college, I ended up as a fry cook. Uh, I quit my job after a week. I ended up here. I decided that if I don't want to work, why not find myself someone who can't stop working? You know, to try and even it out. So, with a little help, I wrote up my contract. No takers yet. I offer my time to you. Permanently. At no charge. Think of me as a maid. Or a chef. Or anything. Whatever you need me to be. Just don't think of me as skilled. You don't seem surprised. You really don't make a lot of expressions, do you? That's what it is. Take it or leave it. I give you all my time, and in exchange, you provide whatever I need. Or, on occasion, maybe whatever I want. What do you say? Yeah, I can show you the contract. Come on. I never actually thought someone would say yes. I figured I'd be here for who knows how long. Here. It's here. You'll need a lawyer to look at it. Well, if you say so. I can't read half the words on that sheet. Weird lingo. Here it is. That's the first time I've seen you do anything but frown. And I have a feeling you're exactly what I'm looking for. We do need a witness for the signatures. Come with me. Oh, oh. oh boy. No, I've been out of the tea shop. I go out every day. It's just... Leaving it for good feels strange. Oh no, I'm glad to be out of there. Ugh, everyone was so motivated and bubbly. Everyone wanted to talk to me and pet me when they came in. 
It was annoying. Oh. Is this your car? Wow. So, you're a business businessman, huh? I mean, I won't complain. This. <sighs> this is what I needed. A nice, relaxing life without any work. So, I'm feeling kind of hungry. What do you mean, so are you? The contract says you have to feed me. Uh, right. Fine by me. Anything you need, I'm your kitty. So, tell me about your job. <laughs> a tea company? That's a coincidence, considering the name of our place. Who would have thought a tea company would make someone so stressed? Well, I mean, just look at you. I could tell by your hands. And you clench your jaw. You look tired, too. Spot on, huh? The only time I've seen you smile is when you read my contract. Let me guess. I'll be a maid for you, right? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure I'll be fine with it. Ah, uh, see. You got it wrong. I guess I explained it a little weird. It's not that I hate work in general. It's just... I don't really like all the real world crap that comes along with it. Ugh. The taxes. I don't want to deal with that. That's why I was really clear about it in the contract. I don't want to make money. And if I do get money for anything, I'm not doing the taxes. Yeah, I had to do them once. <sighs> not so bad. Well, I'm glad you think so. Because you're the one doing them. Mm? Man, you have a person for that too? You have any other mates? Huh, and you live. Gotcha, so just an apartment with you and me, huh? You know, when you signed that contract, you had some pretty specific demands, too. But it really has me curious what you have in mind. Not a problem at all. Like I said back there, I'll do whatever as long as I get 10 hours of sleep, sashimi, and plenty of back scratches. Well, of course, it's more than that, but you get the idea. All the same for me. <sighs> and with seats this comfy, I'll do whatever you need. Clean toilets, run errands, you name it. I'm like, uh, like an assistant. Mm. Wow. Is this your building? It looks like a resort. It's huge. I feel underdressed, but I guess it's getting late. I hope nobody sees me. <laughs> That's a big promise. I don't mind taking you up on it, though. All the clothes I can imagine. Really, you're spoiling me a lot. It feels a little too good to be true. Wow. Even these ceilings don't lie. This lobby is gorgeous. And, oh! Look at the pool out there. Look how it's lit up. Wow. 
It's beautiful. Hey, what did you want to be called? I'm like a maid, kinda, yeah? So, master? Alright, sir it is. Even the elevator is pretty. Really? A person just for pressing the elevator buttons during the day? Man, I picked the wrong job. Maybe taxes aren't so bad. Yeah, I guess this probably will be more interesting. Well, so... Which room? I've never seen anything like it. Could you show me around? Huh? A business call? But it's getting late and you just got home. No wonder you're stressed. Hmm? You just said you had to take a call though. How could I help you with that? Uh... <laughs> oh, this suddenly makes a lot more sense. 